Well, hello, friends on YouTube and internet who want to learn about Python and Python web scraping. Welcome to another video on Python web scraping. Today, we are going to talk about crawling and collecting data when we are crawling a uh, site. So, of course, web crawlers would be fairly boring if all they did was hop from one page to the other in order to make them useful we need to be able to do something on the page <clears throat> while we're there so let's look at how to build a scraper that collects the title uh, the first paragraph of content and the link to edit the page if it's available so as always the first step to determine how best to do this is to look at a few pages from the site and determine a pattern so by looking at um, another typo excuse me uh, so by looking at a handful of Wikipedia pages, both articles and known article pages, such as the privacy policy page, the following things should be clear. All titles on all pages, regardless of their status as an article and edit history page or any, any other page have the titles under the H1 span tags. And these are the only H1 tags on the page. And let's see how that's accurate so if we inspect the h1 tag and these are the only h1 tags as i have uh, seen it myself on on uh, some pages and these are h2 tags and there are some h3 tags this is uh, h so there is a mix of H2 and H3, which are has span, and there's only one H1 tag, so that's correct. And also, uh, as mentioned before, all text lives under the div uh, and the hashtag body content tag. However, if we want to get more specific and access just the first paragraph of text, we can might be ever using div uh, hashtag mw dash content dash text and then selecting the first paragraph tag only. So this is true for all content pages except file pages. So if we look at the file page, uh, it does not have any content. Uh, section so if we go to body content it does not have any text paragraph or anything so so for file pages it's not valid and then edit links uh, edit links occur only on article pages if they occur they will be found in the li hashtag ca dash edit and we can see that also from this page if we go to the edit page and inspect our element edit element it's under the ca edit span so if we go back to our <coughs> basic crawling uh, the script we can create a combination of crawler and data gathering or at least in this case uh, of in our example data printing program so let's go to uh, the code from our previous example and we'll just do some minor changes here Uh, here we'll print out the H1 tags. And 
print out the text of the h1 tag and then we'll print out the first paragraph the new line and we need the first element only and then we print the edit link if it's found tag uh, href attribute accept uh, an attribute error we will print so it means it it doesn't find any attribute on the link tag <coughs> edit link tag Just add for the sake of visibility. Just put some dat dotted lines. To just to separate the printout. And I'll clear from my test mm. and we can get rid of this line as well okay let's run Just restart it. Typos. So it seems to work, so I'll just stop the code. So it starts on the main page and it gets the first header. 
h1 uh, title heading and then the first paragraph and the link it's not found the edit link on the first page and the next page it's about wikipedia i get the first paragraph and it's also missing the link and then the link goes to the protection policy page first page is uh, empty no edit link and here we have request for paid protection it has first paragraph and it also has the edit link so same copyright permissions uh, yeah it's traversing the wikipedia pages and getting to pages where they have some edit link pages as well so basically what this does is the for loop in this program is essentially as it was in the original crawling program with the addition from of some printed dashes for clarity separating the printed content uh, and because we can never be entirely sure that all the data is on each page each print statement is arranged in order that it is the likeliest to appear on the site that is the h1 title tag appears on every page as far as i can tell at any rate Uh, so we attempt to get that data first the text content appears on most pa pages except for file pages so that is the second piece of data retrieved the edit button only appears on pages where both titles and text content already exist but it does not appear on all of those pages so a little note on different patterns for different needs. Uh, there are obviously some dangers involved with, with wrapping multiple lines in an exception handler. You cannot tell which line through the exception for one thing. Also, if for some reason a page contained an edit button but no title, the edit button would never be logged. However, it suffices for many instances in which there is an order of likeliness of items appearing on the site and inadvertently missing a few data points or keeping detailed logs is not a problem. So you might notice that in this and all the previous examples we've been collecting data. We haven't been collecting data so much as printing, printing it. So obviously data in our terminal is hard to manipulate and like I mentioned we'll uh, look more at storing information and creating databases on a, in a later tutorial. So this is it for this video tutorial and I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial so far. And if you have, please subscribe, like the video, hit the like button please, and comment, share on, uh, on, on the channel and yeah, give me some uh, useful feedback guys. Okay. Thank you for watching and bye for now.